Welcome to the video lesson students. Today's topic is application of Euclid division lemma. And this is very important topic and you may get four marks questions from this topic. Let us see. Let us take a problem like by using a division lemma show that any positive odd integer is in the form of 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, and 6q plus 5, like that. So you have to observe that uh, you have to take numbers like uh, positive, odd positive integers only you have to take. Let us take the odd positive integers as you know, the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. So you have to take each number like this. So when you take one, here he is telling that the positive integer is in the form of. So according to Euclid division lemma, Euclid division lemma means that will be in the form of BQ plus R, isn't it? When you divide a number with another number, the uh, you can write it in the form of bq plus r that that is the division lemma so here any positive odd number can be written in this form according to euclid division lemma let us see whether we can write or not so first we have to take one and when you divide with six here see when you divide with six so what what will uh, so you you can write it in the form of division lemma like bq plus r the divisor 6 into the quotient plus the remainder isn't it one can be written as 6 into 0 plus 1 so when you multiply 6 zeros 0 plus 1 you will get answer as 1 so this is in the form of 6q plus 1 and we'll take one more, one more odd number. Now we'll take three. So when you divide the three with six, six zeros are zero, you'll get reminder as three. So this can be written as six into zero plus three, like this, six into zero plus three. And we'll take one more odd number. Here I have taken seven, see here seven. When you divide with six, six ones are six, and the remainder is one. So this can be written as six into one plus one. See here, six into one plus one. And when you take, uh, see here, seven, six, like this, divisor. Next, divisor into quotient plus remainder. So like this, you can write. So this is in the form of 6q plus 1. And uh, when you take 11 also, 6 ones are 6, you'll get the remainder as 5. So this can be written as 6 into 1 plus 5. 6 into 1 plus 5. So like this you can write. So using division lemma, you can write any positive integer in the form of 6q plus 1 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5. So this is the problem you may get for four marks question. So hence you can write it as any positive integer is in the form of any positive integer is in the form of 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5. Let us take two problems. See, this is the problem in your exercise. Use division algorithm to show that, see here, you have to observe carefully, the square of any positive integer, the square of any positive integer. As you know, the positive integers start from one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So the square of any positive integer, so one square, two square, three square, four square, that can be written as one square is one, two square is four, 
Uh, 3 square is 9, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36 and so on. So uh, for this problem also, for solving this problem also, you have to divide each and every number with 3 and write it in a form of BQ plus R. A is equal to BQ plus R. So like this you can write and you will get definitely like this PQ, 3P and 3P plus 1. Let us take one more problem. See this one, use division algorithm show that uh, cube of any positive integer. So you have to take cube of any positive integers. So here you have to set, take set as one, two, three, four. These are all positive integers. These are all positive integers. So cube of any positive integers. So one cube, two cube, three cube, four cube, five cube, six cube and so on so when you uh, cube any number one two two za four four two za eight and you'll get three three za nine nine three za twenty seven this one is sixty four one twenty five two hundred and sixteen like this so in this problem you have to divide each and every number with the nine and you have to write in the form of a is equal to bq plus r so you will get definitely that form will be in the form of 9m, 9m plus 1 and 9m plus 8. So these problems are very important and you, you may get these problems under 4 marks category. See one more problem will work out. This, this problem is given in the previous uh, examinations use division. Euclid division lemma show that a cube of any positive integer is in the form of 7m plus 1, 7m plus 6. So like this, you can write here. See this. Uh, when you take the odd positive integers as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So when you make it the cubical form that is 1, 8, 27, 64 and so on. So when you take each and every number like this, 1, 8, 27, 64, and try to divide each and every number with 7 here. Like 7 here. Again, you try to write in a form of a BQ plus R. A is equal to BQ plus R. That is divisor into quotient plus reminder like this. So this is 7, 0, 7 into 0 plus 1 that is equal to 7, 7m plus 1. Again, again, take the number 8. When you divide with 7, you will get 7 months or 7, the remainder as 1. So this can be written as 7 into 1 plus 1. One more. Here I have taken 64 when you divide with the, so every time you have to divide with the 7. Don't forget, you should not divide with 3 or 6 or 9, anything as such. You have to divide with 7 only. So 7, 9 is 63. You will get the remainder as 1. So when you write this one in A is equal to BQ plus R form, so you can write it as 7, 7 into 7 into 9 plus 1 like this so when you look at all these these are in the form of 7m plus 1 and 7m plus 6 now we'll see what are rational numbers and what are irrational numbers and what are their properties so in every time we'll think that when you divide a 1 with 7, is it a rational number or a irrational number? We have a great confusion. So I've taken here, when you divide 1 with 7, see 7 zeros, so 1 will be reminder, put the point and put the 0, 7 ones are 7, you'll get the reminder as 3, again put 0, 7 fours are 28, You'll get 2 as a reminder, put 0. 7 2s are 14. You'll get reminder as 6. New 6, put 0. 7 8s are 56. You'll get 4 as a reminder, put 0. 
seven fives are 35, you'll get five, put zero, seven sevens are 49, you'll get one. Again, one is repeated, see here. Again, the numbers will be repeating like this. So when you divide one with seven, we get answer, which is not terminating. This is not terminating. And the number is recurring. So the number which is recurring here, see here, one, four, two, eight, five, seven. Again, it repeats, one, four, two, eight, five, seven. Again, it repeats. So the numbers, the digits which repeat. So here, these numbers will repeat again and again. This repeat will uh, follow infinitely. So you can cut and you can put bar like this, the numbers which, we, which are repeating, you can just put a bar like this and you can read it as 0 0.142857 bar. So definitely you can, you, you can say that uh, uh, 1 by 7 is a rational number, which is not terminating and which is recurring decimal. So what is the difference between a rational number and an irrational number? What is the difference between them? Let us see what is the difference. See here, when you, uh, this one, 10 by 3, when you divide 10 with 3, you'll get answer as 0 0.3333 infinitely. So the three number will repeat infinitely. So you can put simply 0 0.3 bar, which is non-terminating. This number is non-terminating, but it is recurring. So you can say this one is a rational number. So when you take another, that is root two, the value of root two is, 1.414213562373 and so on. So when you closely observe these digits, these are not periodic or these are not recurring or repeating. So you cannot put a bar. You cannot cut a numbers as such and put a bar. So this root two cannot be written in the form of a P by Q, P by Q form. So the numbers which we cannot write in the form of a P by Q are irrational numbers. So this root two is an irrational number and this root two is also an irrational number. This, this is also an irrational number. So when you closely observe these numbers, these numbers are not recurring or repeating or these numbers are not terminating also. Therefore, you cannot write root three in the form of a P by Q. So the numbers which we can write in the form of a P by Q, where Q is not equal to zero are rational numbers. The number which we cannot write in the form of a P by Q, where Q is not equal to zero. So that numbers are irrational numbers. So non-terminating recurring decimals in rational numbers. See, when you see the statement here, let x is equal to p by q be a rational number. It is a rational number such that the prime factorization of a q, when you do prime factorization for q, the prime factors will be in the form of 2 to the power of n and 5 to the power of m, where m, n are non-negative integers. Then you can say that x decimal expansion, which is non-terminating and repeating, non-terminating and repeating. So you can write not in this form. So the decimal should not be in this form. If the, if the denominator, if the denominator is in this form, you can say that fraction will be terminating. And that, uh, that will see a problem here. It will be more clear for you. See here, when you take a problem, 10 by 16, 
you may get you may ask a question like whether 10 by 16 is terminating or not so 10 by 16 16 can be written in an exponential form like 2 to the power of 4 so how so you can say 2 to the power of 4 you observe this denominator which is in the form of 2 to the power of n so the denominator which is in the form of 2 to the power of n or 5 to the power of m or 2 to the power of m n into 5 to the power of m in such form you can say that fraction will be terminating and uh, without dividing without doing actual division can you write this one in the form of a decimal can you write it yes you can write it now i show you see here 10 by 2 to the power of 4 isn't it when 2 to the power of 4 when you multiply when you multiply 2 with 10 2 with 5 you'll get uh, 10 isn't it when you multiply 2 with 5 you will get 10 so you have to change the denominator in uh, uh, this uh, decimal form like uh, here 10 to the power of 4 you can write it 5 to the 10 the power is 4 so 10 to the power of 4 is nothing but 10,000 10,000 means denominator there are four zeros so you can put a point after four digits so simply without actual division here i have not done any division as such so without actual division i have changed a fraction into a decimal form let us see one more problem here 41 by 75 is it terminating for, for uh, to do uh, the verification you have to do first of all the prime factorization so you have to write 75 in the product of prime factors like 3 into 5 into 5 so this can be written as 3 into 5 square even though 5 square is there there is 3 number in the denominator if 3 is there in the denominator you can say that fraction is not terminating so the denominator should be in the form of a 2 to the power of n or 5 to the power of n or 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m form then only you can say that fraction is terminating so this is all about the um, properties of Euclidean lemma and uh, the difference between rational and irrational numbers and uh, the concept of uh, whether a fraction is terminating, not terminating or changing a fraction into a decimal form without actual performing a division. This is all about this class. Thank you.